Hey folks, going to talk about uh, the Inventor Gorilla uh, video, uh, G-Man, and uh, some of the YouTube uh, Christian debate that's going on right now. I'll give you some background, but before I do, I want to plug the, the podcast. Um, you can get us on iTunes or SoundCloud. Go to BibleThumpingArena.com, uh, or you can just wait till the video comes out, which really isn't a video. It's just a picture with the audio from the podcast. Appreciate everybody who watches, gives feedback. Thanks. Um, IG made a video, and I, and I just watched it. Actually, I just listened to it while I was driving. I figured I'd pull over and make a response because I think there's some things that IG is unaware of concerning the interaction uh, with those who are um, those Christians on YouTube who are now debating and going back and forth. Um, I believe that uh, Len Pettis and I oh, I back dropped him again I didn't say that uh, Matthew 4.19 <laughs> he's going to remind me he always is even though everybody knows he would rather us not call him that so let me publicly apologize sorry Len but I'm not going to redo this video the second time I started anyway here we go um <clears throat> Len and I have been talking to G-Man about his uh, poor handling of Scripture for many months, uh, if not a year. And uh, he has been very unteachable. He, he has not accepted correction. Uh, so we've decided to take it public. Now, the, cir the, cir the uh, particular uh, things that he has been handling inappropriately, um, for specifics, uh, things like um, telling non-believers uh, that they're forgiven, um, saying that uh, adultery is not wrong if you have your spouse's approval. Now, he's, he's uh, wavered on that now, but uh, he has a Bible study up on his channel for 45 minutes letting somebody expound how uh, we don't know uh, what uh, the Bible is talking about when they say, thou shall not commit adultery. Um, so that's another mishandling of scripture in regards to that and open marriage. Um, his uh, understanding of hell uh, recently and also his interpretation of Matthew chapter 18. Um, all just recent ways that he has mishandled scripture and everyone, everyone knows how when he interacts with uh, people in debate, whether they're Christian or non, it's it's really nonsensical. The man won't the man won't listen. So we decided to take it public because uh, G-Man has a lot of uh, viewers, and we wanted folks to know that this isn't uh, a proper representation of Christianity. The debate did not start, uh, nor have uh, Len and I been. Uh, going around saying, "Hey, you need to be a Calvinist. You need, you need to understand the doctrines of get grace, or, or uh, get off YouTube." Um, what we did say is, uh, "You need to take a break, G-Man. You're not handling scriptures right." And none of it, none of it was in regards to Calvinism. Now, G-Man, as everyone knows, uh, likes to attack when confronted, and. He has come to the conclusion that we're only doing this because we're Calvinists, so G-Man has decided to look up and try to figure out what Calvinism is and uh, point out how it's wrong. Now, G-Man doesn't understand what Calvinism is. He's, he's learning, so I guess one good thing is happening is a lot of people are studying it, but um, debate the, that was never the debate. That was never the issue that uh, I was bringing up. It was uh, always... Uh, G-Man's handling of, of other texts. It well, had nothing to do with the doctrines of grace. So, now, now, there are folks on YouTube who are very opposed to Calvinism. So as soon as G-Man starts pointing the finger and say, hey, you're a Calvinist, you're this, you're that, uh, quite a few people jump on board. And uh, that's what we, we're seeing now. And because people are now saying, hey, what about this, what about that? Uh, Len and I and other Calvinists are responding. We're responding and, and explaining uh, what 
the Bible is teaching in regards to the doctrines of grace. So it's not that's the history behind it. I G I liked your video for the most part, but to say that the Holy Spirit gives different interpretations that are true uh, to di different people, um, I, I don't agree with that. There's one proper interpretation for the scriptures. There may be different uh, ways that one can apply particular passages to their life, but only one right interpretation. And, and when we do um, debates or Bible studies, we want to discover what the one right interpretation is for the scripture. Uh, I would have to agree with Sabella Shepard, who on your video uh, says that some things do matter. Some things do matter. And we shouldn't just, hey, be like the atheist and say, hey, if anybody says they believe in Jesus, they're, they're a Christian. There are many things that matter. And in your video, IG, you, you said, you know, hey, let's just get along and focus on Jesus Christ, which, yes, that's, that's true. But even you say later in your video, in regards to our R&R &R, uh, hangout that's going on, um, you know, what are you guys doing? Uh, what you're doing is, is wrong. Uh, and you, and you were talking about, uh, biblical concepts. You're saying that they were wrong. Well, well, if we're, cons if you're consistent in, well, the Holy Spirit gives different interpretations to people, well then wouldn't Ron, Ra, and Ran, uh, with what they're doing, uh, couldn't they just say, well, this is what the Holy Spirit interpretation is for me, so leave me alone. So things do matter, and I was surprised, IG, when you said, even Paul said, and you, you're, when you're trying to explain how we should just, you know, get along, you, you said, you, you referred to Paul somehow, and you've got to be kidding. If you read Paul's writings, it, all throughout them is, is mark the false teachers, um, put, set them aside, confront them, let everybody know about them. When somebody's teaching false doctrine, let everybody know. And that is what Len and I, and some folks who associate with us, and well, not associate with us, some folks who be, uh, agree with us in our particular doctrinal camp, what we're doing. We are uh, attempting to mark those that are teaching contrary to what the scriptures teach. So that uh, when people look on YouTube, uh, they'll see what they see. And um, my hope, my prayer is that people will see people who, uh, some men who love God and women who love God, have a rational interpretation of scripture and, and teach it and stand up for it in a consistent way um, and handle the scripture with uh, proper hermeneutics. So, I think that's everything I wanted to say in a kind of a almost 10 minute ramble. I'm buying time now to see if I can remember anything else I wanted to say. Uh, Raw ran and who did I leave out? Randy, Ra, and Ron. Uh, and what they're doing. I, I don't agree with it. Um, I know what they're doing. I get it. Uh, Ra loves to preach the gospel. And uh, he likes Rand Campbell chopping the waters. Get the attentions of everybody. So that everybody will come. And man, YouTube bought it. Hook, line, and sinker. Uh, many people are making videos. So, what they want to do is what has been successful. They've got the community's attention. And I don't agree with the, the methodology of it. I don't agree with um, the main premise of it. Um, I should hold off judgment until it happens. But I did watch the uh, hangout last night, which um, I, I have issues with. But... We'll just have to see. We'll just have to see. That that's that's my take on it. And uh, that's all.